Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18 beta 5. This is an amazing update with a lot of cool new features and especially the new feature on Safari where you can remove the distractions. It's actually a great feature and it works really smoothly. But we have some more features to talk about. We're going to talk about beta 6 and iOS 18.1 beta 2 and a lot more. So first of all, let's start with some of the new features that we didn't mention on the initial video on iOS 18 beta 5. First of all, right here on the home screen, when you go to edit your home screen, you tap right there and you go to customize, you will notice that Apple has actually rearranged the buttons right here at the bottom. So the automatic switch used to be the first one. Now we have light dark and then the third one will be the automatic switch, which of course will let your icons change depending on whether you're using the light mode or the dark mode on your device. There's also like a smaller change here on the widget, on the music widget on the home screen. Now it has a much better gradient. So you will have, of course, this color that actually goes with the color of the album art. But it also has a nice little gradient in the background, which, in my opinion, is the best looking widget that you can get for your music app. Apple is actually switching around stuff here on this widget they have changed it a few times during these beta stages but i think this is the best looking one now what's really cool with ios 18 beta 5 is that now when you go to your spotlight and you're searching for something you will also have the dark mode icons right here on the search results so even if you're searching for something like an app or something like that you will see that the icons of the app now do support the dark mode which is actually pretty cool and with iOS 18, you probably know that you can now hide apps and of course lock them with face ID and a passcode. But what Apple has now done is that even if you go to your settings and you go under the general settings right here and then you go under the iPhone storage, you will still not see those apps here on the list. That's actually pretty cool. And you will have now here a dedicated section for those apps. So you go here, of course, you will have to authenticate with your face ID or the passcode. And once you have done that, then you will be able to see the apps right here. Of course, the apps that you have locked and you will have all the features here of course you can go ahead and rearrange them by size name or last day's date of use so you will have a dedicated list here only for your hidden apps moving on here under the photo settings we have a new setting here for photos so when you go to your apps you go to photos right here and you scroll all the way down you will see a new option here to enhance visual search so by enabling this you will allow your device to privately match places in your photos with a global index maintained by apple so you can search by almost any landmark or point of interest that's what it says right here basically the explanation for this new setting that apple has added for the photos app Moving into the wireless settings, so when you go to your Wi-Fi settings and you tap the little I button at the network you're connected to, you will see now that the private Wi-Fi address actually doesn't have a switch to turn on rotating, but now it has like a sub menu. If you go there, then you will have a few options. So you will have the option to turn it off then you will have the option to choose here fixed or rotating so you now not just have the rotating option you can also choose fixed or completely turn it off from here moving into the calendar app the calendar app has now a new icon right there where you can change the view so if you tap right there you can see these new icons that apple has added with this latest beta and talking about reminders, when you go to reminders and you have a recurring reminder, you will see now those like two arrows right there. And you can also see them right here on the reminders widget. So you can see just at the reminder at the end right there, it shows two little arrows which indicate that this is actually a recurring reminder. So these are some of the new features that we have been able to discover on the latest beta of iOS 18. But let's now talk about what to expect in the next few days. So going to the calendar right here, let's take a look at the days when we can actually expect 
a new beta from Apple. Well, I think the new next beta will actually be iOS 18.1 beta 2, and you can expect it as soon as tomorrow. Now, tomorrow will mark the two weeks since Apple has released the first beta of iOS 18.1 with all the new Apple intelligence features. Most likely, we're going to see some enhancements, some improvements, and some more Apple intelligence features coming to devs with the second beta of iOS 18.1. Now, in the meantime, I do believe that Apple will also move to a weekly schedule when it comes to the betas of iOS 18.0. So starting this week, I would expect Apple to actually move to a weekly schedule. We'll probably have another three betas before we get the RC version and then the public release of iOS 18 to the public. So keeping in mind that on the 12th, which means tomorrow, we might see the second beta of iOS 18.1, I would then expect Apple to actually release the sixth beta of iOS 18 the next day. That would be the Tuesday, and it should be, of course, here, August, August 13, actually, the day that we also get the sixth beta of iOS 18. And let's just quickly talk here about the public release. So the public release of iOS 18, I would expect it to happen sometime right here towards the middle of September. I would actually expect Apple to release, as I said, another like three betas or four or four betas of iOS 18, including the one that they will release this week. And then most likely right here on the 9th, we should see, or the 10th, we should see the RC version before we get the public release some, sometime right here on the 16th of September. That might even happen a week early. We'll have to wait and see when Apple will actually confirm the date for their iPhone event. And then we can just predict, of course, the exact date when we can get iOS 18 released to the public. But it should be the 9th or the 16th of September. So now a big question, should you actually update to betas of iOS 18 at this point if you're still on iOS 17? Well, iOS 17 is basically done. We're on 17.6.1 right now. You can expect some minor updates in the meantime, but don't expect any new betas or any new features coming to, the, to iOS 17. As far as iOS 18 goes, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, if you want to update, I suggest that you update to iOS 18.1. Of course, you will be like a week behind with some of the features that Apple is adding now to iOS 18. In this case, with beta 5, those should come also to iOS 18.1 with the next betas. But you will still have the new Apple intelligence features, which in my opinion are more worth it of having a beta on your device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 18 videos, and I'll see you on the next one.